Hello, Mountain here again. This time I'll be talking about how I got my pets. And the reason of this is because this is a speed paint of my pets. This is a little drawing I did of my two adorable pets. I got the inspiration from Drawing with Waffles, who did a little drawing of a little, bit of bear, a little bear in sweatshirts. So I really wanted to do... I did intentionally want to do bears in sweatshirts because that's what she did. But then I got to look at my pets and I thought, why not draw my pets in sweatshirts? I thought that would be so absolutely adorable. And to be honest, it is so adorable in my own biased opinion. Anyway, I'll be talking about how I got my pets today because I thought there'll be a fun little story to go over. As some may know or some might not know, I have two pets. I have a cat and I have a dog. I got my cat first. His name is Stone. And the reason for his name is that at the time where I got him, I was really, really into reading warrior cats at that time. Like, we're talking that I read a book in two days, started the next one, read in two days, and then fourth. And I just, I did that for a long time. But at the point, I really did it a lot. So I wanted to have my pet named Stone. At the time, I actually did have a cat named Luna after the... Luna Lovegood character in Harry Potter, but unfortunately, she did just vanished one day. We never find out what happened, we never found her dead anywhere, nobody con contacted us about where she was or anything. So she had, at this point, when I got stoned, I think she had been gone for at least three or four months at this point, like a long time. So I had been really sad at the time, and on the other hand, my grandfather was really sick and we all knew he would he would be dying soon like and at any day we expected that he he would be dying because there was nothing the doctors could do so i was down my parents were down we were getting i wasn't that old at the time i was i'm pretty sure i was 15 at the time 14 or 15 at the time and we constantly my me and my younger brother were constantly being left at my other grandparents at the other side because my parents obviously had to be with my granddad, make sure everything was good for him and everything was up to up to the things they needed to be. And at my other grandparents, they live at a farm and obviously there was a lot of kittens at the moment. And one kitten in particular really irritated my grandfather because he just constantly was in the heels of him and he was so afraid that he would have to that he by accident would run the kitten over with his tractor or something so he was kind of like trying to get me to take the kitten or want the kitten so one day my parents got back from the hospital to pick me and my brother up unfortunately on that day my grandfather did die so we had to go home and get everything all the papers in order and stuff like that and i asked my parents if i could get the kitten and they honestly just didn't want to discuss with me at the time so they just said take it just take the kitten we know your cat's gone you can get this one it's fine we don't want to talk about it just get in the car so i got the kitten and i didn't know at the time if it was a male or female cat and i said i was reading warrior cats a lot at the time so i really wanted to name the cat after a warrior another specific warrior but like a warrior like name but i didn't want to give it a prefix and a suffix so i decided i just want to give it like one one syllable name and i was stuck between either naming and either naming my cat stone or name my cat pebble and the reason for this is that if it was a male i want to name it stone if it was a female pebble and i don't know why i wanted to specify like that i just felt like pebble fitted a she cat more i guess but ultimately he was a male so i decided to keep call him stone and that's been his name for the past six years i have to i have had this cat for the past six years. That six year old cat at this point, I got him when he was about, I think he he was younger than he's supposed to be because I said my grandfather was afraid he would run him over. So he just wanted to get him to a safer place faster. And everything worked out, it was great. He's fine, there's nothing wrong with him. A bit crazy, but that's not my grandfather's fault. That's more like just the personality of my cat. A few years went by and at my 18th birthday, I got enough money to buy my own dog. In Tesnia, I wanted actually to buy and use those money at my 18th birthday for a saxophone. But I saw this, I saw this little ad pop out on Facebook with Collie Puppies. And if you're somebody who knows me personally, you know that 
all my life I have been absolutely obsessed with the Lassie movies and I've always really wanted a collie, my own collie. That's been my dream dog for the longest time. I have had a dog before this one. I have currently. That dog unfortunately passed away due to sickness. There was nothing we could do about it. So that's why at the age of 18 I really wanted to have myself a new dog and a dog I could train again. I really like training my dog. So I went out, uh, bought the dog. He was four months four months old at the time so a little older than they usually are when they're sold but for some reason nobody wanted him but i really wanted him badly his name at the time was holger and that's a danish name and i didn't want to call him holger mostly because my mother's sister's boyfriend is called that so that just seemed like not the greatest ideal so i wanted to rename him and i decided to name him Rumba which is Danish for Brambleberry. And don't don't ask why. I just thought it could be cute. It's not something you hear usually. And I was correct. Now my dog is currently three years old. In March he'll be four years old. He o- he's already beginning to be quite old, if you ask me. They could just stop growing at this point, if you ask for my honest opinion. But I love them so much. I wouldn't trade anything in the world. Anything. Like, you couldn't give me anything. I would never get away. Like, I would never give my pets away. They're the most loveliest thing that's ever happened to me. So I said, my cat is now six years old. My dog's four years old. We don't currently plan on getting any more pets. Or, it's not a lie, but I, I really want more pets. But it's not... At my current situation by living in an apartment, it's just not optimal to get more pets, even though I do absolutely adore pets and I would get anything for them. We used to just chill around. My cat is, is he's pretty laid back. He, like 23 hours a day, he just sleeps, but like one hour a day, he'll get like the zoomies and just run around everything. He'll bite the blanket, he'll bite you, he just run around. And I know he's six years old, but he's he's still a kitten for that one hour every day my dog as well is pretty laid back but if something exciting is happening he will absolutely get up jump all around and just go with it he's he gets so excited and it's just so fun and bubbly to be around he can do so many commands the one he does the best is of course sit down and he can shake his paw that's the two things he does the most and it's so sweet to see him do it. My cat does not do that many tricks. He can he can sit down if you ask him twice. And he can bump his nose to your hand if you ask him politely. <laughs> He'll do that too. But that's the only things the cat do. And I probably shouldn't ask the cat to do any more things because he is quite stubborn. I don't know why I expected that I could train my cat to do tricks and stuff. But he can do those two things. As mentioned or as seen in this video, my dog is a blue Merle Collie and my cat is a normal black and white farm cat. And there's not that much more to it. I absolutely adore my pets and I wouldn't trade anything for them as said. I've had them before, I even met my currently fiancé. And he absolutely loves them. He wouldn't know what he would do if we at some part at some if we at some point decided to part from each other. I don't even think he could live without them. I think we'd I think we would have to figure out some play dates for him to be with the pets like a part-time parent and or stuff like that. And that's absolutely lovely. But yeah, that's 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 how I got my pets. That's why I have my pets. And that's why I, why I'll never ever get rid of my pets and I'll do everything so they have the perfect life because of course they deserve the most perfect life. If you like this picture as much as I do, I of course absolutely adore this picture of my two boys next to each other. You can actually go down below and get this on a cap, a shirt, a hoodie like the boys have hoodies on. Or you can get it on even a bath mat. All you have to do is go down to my Redbubble account and click on a picture and you can get in all sorts of different stuff. I will, to be honest, be buying some of it myself just because I can and would really like that in my own house. Otherwise, you can go to my other social links that are down below and all I use, editing program, music program, recording program, all of that 
It's down below if you're interested in using some of the same or wondering how to do stuff. It's all down below in the description. I will also link to Drawing with Waffles down below. I'll link to that video I talked about. So you can go check her out and check out the video I saw. And that's it for this video. There's not much to talk about this picture. It's a very easy picture. Not much is happening. It's just... I sketched it out, drew it up. And that's it. So that's all. Mountain is out.